Okay, we're at home of uh, Mark Matthews looking at doing some siding on a detached uh, living space slash garage. Um, <clears throat> he's got vertical siding on there now. Uh, do have some minor rotting issues kind of at the uh, foundation line. Um, looking to do a replacement with hardy plank siding, uh, tear everything off. Um, in the living space, which we'll notate here in the video, we are going to do sidewall insulation as part of our scope of work. Uh, everywhere else is just be resheathing the wall. Uh, that's garage space basically resheathing the wall with 7 16 inch OSB uh, installing our Tyvek everywhere on top of the OSB uh, sealing that uh, correctly with seam tape and everything um, and then installing our hardy trim and plank, uh, plank siding cedar mill select eight and a quarter um, so that's kind of what we're looking at here on this side we have this drain spout that extends from this gutter all the way back it is tied into the wall uh, basically with a couple brackets and then extends <clears throat> out into the back alley through that uh, small area right here so we're gonna have to maintain that after the siding gets done um, just as it is right now we do have some leaking issues uh, Mark was saying down here <clears throat> at this uh, at this line here you can see probably why it's probably just a runoff every time it rains so when we uh, take this off, we'll make sure we seal everything up as best we can to, uh, to eliminate that from happening again. <clears throat> um, on the OSB board down at the foundation line here where it runs into the ground, we will use the C-channel flashing, and we can seal that up all, all good and tight and should be able to prevent that problem from happening uh, anymore for them. So that's kind of what we got here, and you can see there is a facing me there's a one foot stretch of wall that will become hardy plank as well where the downspout uh, or where the spout extends through okay and coming out to the front of the here's the main house here <clears throat> and then coming out to the front of the house or uh, front of the area that we would work on so here so we have two single garages. Uh, all the frames will be wrapped in hardy plank. We're not doing anything. There's an open rafter tail soffit. Not doing anything with soffit or fascia for our scope of work. We're just looking at sidewall siding. So all both garage door uh, frames would be retrimmed in hardy. We have a single window, a door, and two twins that would all be retrimmed in hardy plank trim as well. And then basically right here is, uh, actually, excuse me, right here at the garage line is where we would start our insulation. Right here on this line all the way down to the corner here. On the right side we got nothing but brick. So this entire facing that we see from these garage doors will be insulated, sidewall insulation. And that will be part of our proposal. Again, same thing because we see some pretty significant rot around the uh, the where the siding dies into the foundation. We are going to do the same thing. OSB, the C channel flashing on the bottom edge of that to prevent any kind of water exposure down the road. And then actually, the backside butts up to an alley. So we're going for a little walk here. As you can see here, the right side nothing. It's all brick. And then where we get into the rest of the siding is on the back, right here. So again, it's about a seven and a half foot high wall. Um, tearing all this off, going back with the Cedar Mill Select horizontal eight and a quarter board. Our insulation will start right here where the brick meets the siding, and it will go right to this point right here. So there's kind of a, a little bump out, as you can see, and where that bump out stops is where we'll start, or where we'll end, our insulation. From this point, from this line, let's go back up a little bit, from this line right here, all the way extending down this way, will become uh, just, there no, there'll be no insulation there. It'll just be sheathed with the OSB, Tyvek, and then our siding. Again, same thing here as we showed on the left side with the, uh, there is some, we looked in the garage and there is some infiltration just of dirt and that. And he said water has, uh, Mark said that the water has come into there before. So again, with the process that will follow, it should uh, help, uh, help that out. 
You can see there's a little runoff or a little spill away right there. We're going to keep that same thing, so we'll cut out a little nook you know, a little notch there to make sure the water still has a chance to escape. And then you can see the downspout or the uh, gutter tube coming out here, which again, we will have to duplicate. And then it just runs off right here. So this is where we'll stop right at this corner. Again, no soffit, no fascia, just sidewall. So pretty straightforward job. Um, you know, Mark, uh, we appreciate you having us out. We look forward to, uh, to working on your projects for you. And, um, and again, if you have any questions or anything, please let me know. Thanks so much.